How's it going car people? It's Lucas here back with another car review. Today I present to you this 2014 Citroen C4 Aircross. As always, I will start it up, show you the engine, show you around the interior and the exterior of the car. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This Aircross has a white metallic exterior with a black leather interior and the optional six-speed manual transmission. For anyone wondering here, this car is related to the Mitsubishi ASX, so a lot of the parts that you see in here are very Mitsubishi related, like the gauges, ignition, and some other stuff. Ignition cylinder is also illuminated. This Aircross has 66,000 kilometers on it. Nice. So, let's go ahead and cut on the headlights, fog lights, and hazards. The driver's side window is fully automatic. So, let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the Aircross. On the side, body colored turn signal mirrors, body colored door handles, roof racks up top, radio antenna, tinted rear windows, a nice little Aircross badge right there, your fuel cap on the driver's side which you release inside the car. Around back, here are your tail lights, your Citroen C4 and Aircross badges, LED third brake light and rear spoiler. Down below here, you have your backup camera, rear parking assist, as well as a rear tow hitch. This Aircross rides on Kleber Citylander tires. They are 21570 R16s, so you get 16 inch alloy wheels. Front halogen headlamps, a chrome front grille, fog lamps down below, LED daytime running lamps which aren't flashing in person, that's the camera. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. This Aircross is powered by a 1.6 liter, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbo diesel inline 4 cylinder engine. It produces 115 horsepower at 3600 RPM and 199 pound feet of torque from 1750 to 2500 RPM. It's a 0 to 60 in 10.8 seconds and has a top speed of 182 kilometers an hour or 113 miles an hour. It has a 63 liter or 16.6 gallon fuel tank and is estimated to get 5.3 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, 4.2 highway and 4.6 combined. In miles per gallon, that is 44 city, 56 highway and 51 combined. The Aircross is front wheel drive but is also available with all wheel drive. As far as transmission options, the C4 Aircross in Europe is only available with a 5 speed manual or a 6 speed manual transmission. This one has the 6 speed. To shift into reverse, pull the tab under the shifter and push it all the way to the left and up. Upon putting it into reverse, the backup camera as well as the rear parking sensors turn on. The backup camera features guidance lines. Coming back inside, you get a six-way manual driver's seat with slide which is down below. Height adjustment as well as recline. The passenger seat is four-way manual, it just misses out on the height adjustment. On the door panel, you have such materials, a little bit of chrome trim, cloth padded armrest, 
your power windows, power locks, power mirrors, which are also power folding. You got storage down below, as well as a speaker. You have C4 Aircross floor mats, headlight leveling, traction control, parking sensor controls. So, let's go ahead, hop back in, do a few revs, and see how it sounds. Sounds really good. So, let's go ahead and shut the door and roll the window up. This C4 Aircross has single zone automatic climate control. You have your fan speed right here. Push the button for AC. You have your different zones right here as well as front defrost, push for rear defrost. Right here are your temperature settings, push for recycling. Pretty simple to use. And it is, of course, in knobs, which is typical Mitsubishi. And obviously, I said before, this thing has a lot of Mitsubishi parts. Coming over to your screen, here's your radio. It is a good sounding radio. Over here, you do have your preset stations. Go to your menu over here. You have your different radio modes, as well as CD and Bluetooth audio. On the rest of the screen, you can also connect an aux. Here's your phone settings. And right here are your vehicle settings. As you can see, you have all your different settings right over here. You have a back button right here, and this is your shortcut to the menu. Otherwise, it'll just display audio. Just like that. And otherwise, it'll just show audio off. If you wanted to turn the screen off, just go to the settings and click the display off button, and there you go, and just touch it to turn it back on. Simple as that. Down below that, you have a little bit of storage in there. You have a cup holder, 12 volt power outlet, your shifter, also leather wrapped, more cup holders right here. Here's your parking brake. You do have a storage compartment right here, dual tier. You also do have your USB and auxiliary input right here, as well as another 12 volt power outlet. Here's your glove box. You get a three spoke design leather wrapped steering wheel, which feels very nice and smooth. You have sport grips at 10 and two, perforated leather, as well as gloss black trim, loud horn. Over here, you do have your audio controls, as well as phone controls, as well as voice recognition. Over here, you do have your cruise control settings. To the left, you have your headlight and turn signal stock. Over here, your wiper stock. The steering wheel is also manually tilting and telescoping. Nice. On the gauge cluster, you have your tachometer to the left, various warning lights up above the display, which does, can show various info. You do have a little button to the left-hand side of the gauge cluster to control what info you can see. You have your speedometer on the right. And here is a blank switch, which normally your push button would be if this thing was equipped with the smart key access system, but this particular one is not. So, back to the info button, you can change what you can see on the display, such as your range, average of fuel consumption, as well as trip meter and odometer, trip A and B, when you have to service the vehicle, engine temperature gauge, and of course, you'd have your odometer down below all of that, as well as outside temperature and your fuel gauge. You also have your panel dim over here. Side curtain airbags, grip handle for the driver. You'd have a sun visor with vanity mirror and light. Auto dimming review mirror, lights right here. You got the controls right here for the door and whatnot, as well as a pretty nice and smooth headliner. All right, so that's pretty much it for up front. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat. Coming around to the back seat, your materials from the front do carry through on the seats. The door panels do change from soft touch materials to plastics, but you still have the cloth padded armrest, 
power window controls and chrome interior door handle and speaker down below. Sadly, no storage. Hopping in, you also have floor mats back here too. I'm about six foot. This seat is all the way back and I still have a decent amount of leg room and a plentiful amount of headroom. So it's really not too bad here in the back seat of the C4 Aircross. You do have, I guess, quadruple seat mat pockets on the backs of the seats because there's two of them on each seat. Kind of cool. You also do have a center armrest with cup holders and a trunk pass through. Reading lamps, as well as grip handles. All right, that's pretty much it for the back seat. Let's go ahead and check out trunk space. Coming around to the trunk, there's a little membrane right under here, which you press to open it. The Aircross does have a pretty nice amount of back seat room. The cargo cover that it comes with is also removable, as well as the seats do fold in a 60-40 split fashion if you ever wanted to increase cargo space. But it's pretty nice overall. Spare tire, as well as jack, roadside assistance kit, illumination. Not bad. So that's pretty much it for the entire car. Let's go ahead and shut it down. So all of that is going to conclude the review on the 2014 Citroën C4 Aircross. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or a comment. Subscribe today if you haven't. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.